Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. As you know, we are running lecture series on bacterial cell structure. To continue this series, today we are going to discuss plasma membrane of bacterial cell. Plasma membrane is also known as cytoplasmic membrane as it encloses cell cytoplasm. If you see the cross section of bacterial cell, first outermost layer is glycocalyx, then cell wall and after that plasma membrane can be seen. The structure of plasma membrane can be defined by a fluid mosaic model which is given by S.J. Singer and Grath Nicholson in 1972. As per this model, plasma membrane is a mosaic of different biomolecules. These biomolecules are dynamic, moving and sliding past one another within the plane of the membrane. It looks like a fluid-like mosaic, thus called fluid mosaic model. Different biomolecules which forms plasma membrane are phospholipids, integral proteins, peripheral proteins, transmembrane proteins, pouring proteins, oligosaccharides and glycolipids. Let's go into detail one by one. First, phospholipids. Phospholipids in plasma membrane present in bilayer form, meaning Two layers of phospholipids are present, upper layer or outside layer which is in contact of external fluid, the fluid present between cell wall and plasma membrane. Another layer is inside layer which is in contact of cytoplasm. Now look at the phospholipid molecule. One molecule of phospholipid is composed of lipid combined with phosphate group. Each phosphate group has a polar hydrophilic head means water loving head and two non-polar hydrophobic tails means water fearing tails. Hydrophilic head point outward and hydrophobic inward. This is how all the phosphate molecules arrange themselves and form biolayer. Next is proteins. Many types of proteins are present in plasma membrane. Peripheral proteins. These proteins are attached to inside or outside of the membrane and are not linked to the hydrophobic core. Next is integral membrane protein. These are the proteins that have at least one hydrophobic reason that allows them to attach to hydrophobic core of the membrane. Next is transmembrane proteins. A type of integral protein often cover the whole width of the membrane emerging on both sides. They help in cellular respiration. Another type of protein present in plasma membrane is porin protein. This is barrel shaped protein that cross a membrane and act like a pore. It allows passive transports of sugar, ions and amino acid. Glycolipids are also present in plasma membrane. They are bonded with the carbohydrate sugar chain and aid in communication or interaction with other cells. Next is oligosaccharides. Oligosaccharides present in cell membrane arranged facing away from the cell. These molecules help in identifying signals for other cells or molecules. These cellular markers are needed for communication with other cells such as those from the nervous and immune systems. And now function of bacterial plasma membrane. It helps in osmosis. It acts as selective permeability barrier. It helps in ion transportation. It is a site for energy generating processes like photophosphorylation and electron transport system, etc. It helps in cell wall synthesis. It plays important role in cell division. It has essential enzymes and proteins. So this was all about bacterial plasma membrane. Thank you.